Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I finally got a good video going. Not that my last ones have been bad. They've just been kind of all over the place and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And I feel like this one's a little bit more of a regular one. So I did do laundry or did like clean the house all kind of in one day. I don't remember what day it was. I think I actually got everything done on Thursday. So I'm trying to get back into another routine. I finished my 75 hard and I took a couple days off. So now I'm just kind of trying to get back into um, something normal. I'm gonna go more for balance. So Jeremy has come up with a workout plan for me to kind of tone some, th some things up and just maintenance, but not as extreme. I'm gonna stick with gluten-free and yeah, um, I'm gonna work out probably about five maybe six days a week. And when I say work out, I'm going to put that in quotations because I'm talking about like walking and everything else. I don't mean like hardcore working out. So like I talked about at the beginning of the summer, I am working on maintenance and just kind of decluttering, picking up where I left off last year. I'm really trying to minimize my house. I don't want to make it a minimal house, but I mean, I just want to get rid of a lot of things, uh, finish up the decluttering. I'm really bad, I was really bad to buy duplicates of everything and then buy more duplicates. And as you can see here, like, I just, I can't ever just buy enough. Like there's never a good amount of stuff. Like I feel like I have to have a ton. Um, and now underneath here, I've already gone through this a couple times. Um, this area is just messy. My kids get into it, I get into it. Um, it just gets cluttered real easily. This cabinet underneath has been like through Hades and back. I'm sure it needs replaced, but it's clean. Like I went over it with some lemon pine salt and tidied it back up and then just put everything kind of back in there. Now you're going to see here in a little bit, I'm going to start going through a lot of my decorations. I am not going to replace those. Um, and some of those things, like even though they're up and out of the way, they were really gross. Um, like a lot of grease got onto it, a lot of dust got onto it. And you know what, if I'm not going to keep up with that stuff, like just doing the basic wiping down of it, then I probably shouldn't have it. So I went through and I got rid of a lot of pieces that just really don't bring me joy. Um, some of them I did throw away just because they were gross. And then the rest of them I cleaned up and donated. So in underneath the sink, I'm just holding all the rags that we use. I have some towels that I use for just general cleaning. And then I have others that are super, super soft and they're like microfiber and they're just for like dusting and that type of stuff. I also have all my mop things too. I've got several different interchangeable heads. Then I've got all my mop socks, socks and stuff. A lot of these pieces, um, I really couldn't tell you where they came from. And I just, I never really thought too much about going through them because you know, they're not in the way, but I was really happy with the amount of stuff that I got rid of. Um, and I'm gonna try and do this in each of the rooms. Some of these things I did just move back to my office, but a lot of them that I just, I donated them. So that's, you know, like I said, that's what I'm gonna really be working on. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do in each room. I don't really have a plan. It's just stuff that I know that I don't really love when I look at anymore. I do like that concept from Marie Kondo. If it doesn't bring you joy, get rid of it. Um, and also too, it's just, it's easier for me to maintain the house this way. Um, I wish I could be a maximalist, but I can't. Um, not at least at this point in my life right now. And my kids have really stepped up since I go back to work, since I've gone back to work and they do a lot of work around the house too, which I know kids should anyway because they live in the house. But I don't think it's fair that they're having to clean up after my mess too um, and just all the extra stuff. So this is just where we're at right now and I think this will work out best for us. Now the things, the steps that I've taken to prevent things from going back. I always think it's important to list this. It's like, yeah, I have a plan and this is what I'm doing, but then what's the plan afterwards? What am I gonna do to prevent this from happening? So the biggest thing that I did is I canceled my Amazon credit card or I paid it off or whatnot. So when we buy things online, we do them about once or twice a month. We make one big order. And at that time, I usually end up taking things out of my cart. Like as I'm thinking about them, I'll add it to it. But then when it comes time to order, I'm like, eh, so it's coming out of my direct bank account and I immediately see the money leave. So I think more about my purchases. Um, another big thing is I'm super freaking busy all the time now, so I don't really want to buy anything. All 
All right, so y'all can watch me have a little ADHD speech here. I was trying to explain to my husband what I was doing, and that's what all the like little jazz hands and stuff is about. So this is just pine saw in a bottle, and that's all I'm doing is spraying it and cleaning it. So this is a different day. I think it was Tuesday. I was getting ready to try and work in here, but it was obviously a big disaster. So I went in and kind of tidied up this. And then Mason had stayed the week before and had very nicely pulled all the sheets and stuff off. So all that needed to be washed, which I had already done. I just needed to put it back on the bed. So that's what I'm going to be doing on this shot. I definitely need to buy some new pillows for in this room, but nobody ever really sleeps in here, so I mean, we have enough. They're just not that great. So eventually that'll be something I'll do in here. I'm just kind of slowly working on this room. Um, I really still don't know exactly what I want to do with it other than just be in kind of a spare room with an office right now, but I still want to keep it tidy and kind of neat and organized and ready if we do have guests, so. Alright, here is my weekly grocery haul. It was about $235. Um, the biggest thing was dog food. It was $60. It's gone up $15 in the last year. That's crazy in price. Um, see, Jeremy got this because he has a thing for seasonings, but he does all, most of the cooking, so um, that looks like it'll probably be pretty good. Uh, Joe got marshmallow mateys, which are chocolate mateys, like charms but chocolate. Jeremy got this to cook for dinner someday this week. I got a couple of these to try. 
I finished my 75 hard, so I'm still gonna mainly stick with gluten-free, but every now and then little stuff, I'm not gonna be too crazy with it like I was with the 75 hard. This is generic life cereal, which I really like. Um, I got these, Jeremy's doing keto or something very similar to it, real low carbs. I got those for him to try. This so far has been the best dry shampoo that I have found. It's a little expensive, it's about $13 for this, but it's the only stuff that actually seems to work um, as far as lower end stuff. And I had to get the dark hair because obviously my hair's dark. Thought I'd try these out. I know I like these. I like them for lunch. I got this for work. Joe wanted these. Oh, Jeremy wants to show this for you. Are you gonna ban a white it? A little curtsy? No. Okay, but y'all get to see him walk away now. I hate to see you go, but I'd love to watch you walk away. Okay. So back to this, uh, we've got, I got this for my coworker for part of his birthday gift, milk. I got a new water bottle because I actually don't have the small one that's not broken. Um, I was doing a whole gallon of water, but now I'm just doing 64 ounces. Jeremy got fresh jalapenos, um, chocolate almond milk, that's what Joe drinks. Bananas, Haley's lettuce for her salad, avocado for Jeremy. Me. This is freaking expensive, y'all. I didn't see how much it was, but that's okay. That'll probably do for two meals. Chicken nuggets for the kids. Those for me, because I really like sun chips and that looked like a really good flavor. Uh, wheat bread. They had some of their summer clothes on sale. I got this for Joe. He's super excited about Fortnite. He is almost to completing his book so he can download it. Pretty sure this glows in the dark. I got him some shorts for four bucks because he is all out. These two, these are six. Um, they have these tank tops on sale. We're getting ready to go on the beach at the end of the month. For, it was $4 and you got two of them. Y'all, you can't beat that. And this is unrelated to the food haul, but since this mess is out, I wanted you guys to see, I'm sure I showed you in the video at some point either. Um, I'm getting rid of everything on here with the exception of my fruit bowl and my pine salt. Um, yeah, this is all going. I've been trying to purge, so. Yeah, um, this is a couple things I got from the Dollar Tree for a gift. They've got really good bags. Like I said, it's my coworker's birthday, so there's some trash. Um, but they had some Sharpies and my favorite candy bars. Like these are like a dollar, $2.99 at cheap for one of the small ones. So I got a couple of them. And I think for the most part, that's it. Some stuff I got from Amazon. Um, that should do it. So let's turn around. $235 at Walmart. Again, like I said, the dog food was 60 and that was the main reason I went. Um, otherwise it wouldn't have been that much. So this is filmed on 4th of July. So we went hiking and Jeremy and the kids went fishing. It was really nice, but um, I needed the clothes needed to go up because I'd go back to work tomorrow the next day. And so Jeremy, so that's what y'all see here. That's about two or three loads. I did it all at once. Actually, I think it's about three loads. Um, like I, I have been doing it the last month all at once. It works out okay. Again, my only concern is that when I sink all of my stuff for one day, that if that day gets pushed off, then I'm going to have like twice as much to do the next time. And once I put something off the first time, it's gonna get lengthier and lengthier in between the times that I'm putting it off. I've been doing a while to go through my clothes lately. Um, I'm not gonna say cleaning of my clothes. I still have a huge mess in my bathroom because I always do. But I have been going through and donating quite a bit. So, well, again, 
preparing it to be donated and it's right now in the second phase of the donation process which is sitting on my front porch but it eventually makes it there in about like you know two to three months when I get sick of looking at it but most of our clothes we hang um, obviously I don't hang our towels but um, the rest of it you know that you see me like throwing a shirt off to the side that's because Jeremy and I both hang most of our clothes because we can't put them in drawers um, I can put them in a drawer but then when I go to find something else I just pull everything else out of the drawer and I leave it sitting there on the floor because I suck at being an adult So I just want to take this time to tell you guys thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video for whatever reason it was, whether see what it is, what's going on, or just for your cleaning motivation. So I hope wherever y'all are at, you are having a blessed one, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!